Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. In this video, we'll talk about Frax Share or the FXS token, uh, which has been massively bullish since yeah, practically the 22nd of November, so for the last two weeks. Um, it has been massively bullish and right now is also trying to get some sort of a bullish breakout. You can see that we're spiking quite a lot as well. Uh, so in this video, I kind of wanted to explore what's been going on. Uh, in general, but also if we can get that bullish breakout or whether it's uh, more likely that we will drop down a little bit more from where we are right now. So let's get right into it. Um, ha like Frax share has been very bullish for, for yeah, as I said, two weeks. I am not sure why that is. Um, because I, I, I know the project and I think it's a great project. I mean, obviously when um, back when the whole uh, Terra Luna crash happened, Frax share dropped down massively because it is um, it's it's the first fractional algorithmic stablecoin system, and we know the the most famous algorithmic uh, stablecoin, which was the uh, UST. So since then we we have taken a big hit, and you can also see in volume we also took a big hit. Um, if you like zoom out to all, you can see that before that and in 2021 we had nice volume, and right now it has dropped down significantly. Uh, but Frax Share as a project is still functioning good. Um, why it's bullish like this at this point of time, though, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I saw, and, and that could be it, I saw that they're getting quite a lot of uh, good integrations and partnerships. That has been going on, uh, like you can see uh, right here. Uh, uh, yeah, just with, with Aura Finance something, but also with the Olympus DAO, which you all know from, from Ohm. Uh, with Alchemix, which I know, I think it's a great platform, but most people don't know it. The Wombat Exchange, just a lot of things happening. Uh, but I couldn't find any direct news for why we would be this bullish. So uh, that raises some question marks uh, for me at least. So if I missed anything, please let me know and I'll make sure to pin your comments. Uh, but for now, I, I have to assume that maybe some weird things are going on. And then if we take a look at the price of Frax Share, what you can see is that, I mean, we can we can analyze the volume real quick. Most of the volume is, is coming from credible sources. To me, it's you know quite a lot of quite a lot coming from Uniswap and quite a lot from Buybox. Uh, usually, I don't trust that too much, but altogether, I mean, we must say this is a, a, a fair rally, all right? It's a legit rally. We must say that. So right now, the, the, the main thing is is that you can actually see that, like we hit this resistance level up here at six point two dollars. Um, which is a, a strong resistance level. But right now, for, for, for me, or at least to me, it seems like uh, the most important level is still 5.8 and $6, which uh, you can see that I, I kind of drew this level right here, but, but in reality, it, it really is right here from 5.8 to $6. And I think we just need to break above that. And if that happens, we can actually break above 6.2 and 6.3 as well. And, and that's no problem. Um, the thing is, is, is if we can do that or not, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think we can do that right now. I think this is a very big spike. So in, in general, what I think is more, more likely to happen is that we will find resistance at $5.9, $6 again. So we might get up there again, but find resistance, uh, drop down, find some support at 5.6, take a break retest and drop back down to 5.4. I think that's the most likely scenario. And then if we can actually hold 5.4 for like two or three days, then I think, or let's say two days, then I think we can actually continue this and break above six dollars and, and get up to like 6.5, 6.6. Um, but the thing is, I, I think we're going to drop down, and I, I, I must be honest with you, and that's also why I said it. We are. I, I think we're going to drop down to to 5.4, as I said, so something like this. Uh, and then from 5.4, if we are not able to hold that, so if that breaks. What's going to happen then is we'll drop down to this 5.15, $5 level, and we'll probably consolidate on top of this, and then the bullish momentum is over. So um, I think we're at a, at, a, at a pretty crucial time right now, and, um, and, and what's going to happen next would really, in my opinion at least, and according to my analysis, determine what's going to happen in the upcoming days and, and weeks for, for frag share. Um, yeah, so that's my take. That's, that's my full take this evening. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, but for now, take care. Have a great evening and uh, bye.